How's it going folks and welcome back. Football Manager 2022 has just dropped and it's that time of year again where you go on YouTube and you find a guide for how to get all your custom graphics in game. Today we're going to be taking a look at installing a face pack. This allows you to have real player faces across the game. Hope this video is useful. Logo packs will be coming in the next couple of days so make sure to subscribe for that one. If you're new around here of course check out the rest of the content on the channel. If this video goes on to help you drop a like on it and uh, well let's not dilly dally you've got fm22 to play i want to play it too uh, let's get into this so first things first what is a face pack a face pack is an add-on for football manager which basically adds real player faces to the game when you go on some player profiles by default if they play in a licensed league you may see player faces but for the vast majority of players especially for example say in the premier league uh, they won't have faces so what a face pack allows you to do is to have faces for all of those players now face packs come in all kinds of shapes and sizes uh, from faces within kind of images like the fm nations gunzo face mega pack uh, to kind of a more sticker book approach with the df11 player faces however for me, my face pack of choice is just the standard cut out faces. Of course, you can choose whichever face pack you want to use. Uh, for me, the cut out face pack is just the one that I use. So it's the one we're going to cover in this video here. And of course, uh, the link to this specific web page can be found down in the description. Uh, we are on sortitoutsi.net. So once you're on this page here, you're going to notice we have a few different download options. However, if you just click on download complete pack, uh, you get asked about premium membership. Now, you can support Sort It Out SI. Uh, it works out, I think, at £10 for the year, uh, and it allows you really, really quick and simple downloading. However, it is not the only option. Uh, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you'll see a list of free mirrors. And uh, right at the very, 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 very bottom, there is a little section here that says Torrents, and it has a file link that we can just click on. And if we click on it, as you can see here, this is now downloaded to my PC. Uh, before we go any further, I do want to just raise, uh, shall we say, a flag. Um, this face pack is very, very big. It is 21.6 gigabytes. It has over 250,000 faces. In fact, it has 329 thousand faces this is going to take a while to process and download so you are going to have to be patient through this whole process um however i do promise you it is worth it it's really nice to see all the players of actual faces in game you may also notice over on the download pages you can download the face pack just in individual chunks it will take you a little bit longer however if you come back to the face pack in a few months time uh, you can choose to download more recent revisions in smaller chunks so just because you're downloading a big file now for future versions, it should be that little bit quicker, which is nice. But anyway, now that we've clicked on that torrent link that I showed you at the very bottom, you can see here we have this file here. Um, however, in order to get this file to do anything, we are going to need to download a torrent client. Now, the torrent client I'm going to be recommending today is uTorrent, and I recommend uTorrent Web. Um, you're going to click on the free download for it here. Uh, you can then just click on the free basic downloader. It's going to download and install installer exe. You are going to want to install BitTorrent. As I said, I already have it installed. Um, one thing just to be aware of with it is as you go through the installer, um, read everything that it's asking you to install slash not install. Um, it likes to try and you know get a few little add-on bits installed. So don't just mindlessly hit next, 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 next uh, as you go through the installation process. Make sure you read it all. However, once you have it installed, um, you will have the uTorrent client in your browser. So once you've downloaded uTorrent, it's going to say, do you want to make this your default torrent client? Assuming you have no familiarity with torrents whatsoever, you can just hit yes, make it my default. Now, if we click on the sort it out SI file that we downloaded, the torrent file, um, you'll notice that it now comes up this little pop up. It tells us the number of people seeding the file. That is the number of people who have already downloaded the face pack that are sharing it. And then the number of people currently downloading it. And then we are going to want to hit add uh, upon doing this you're going to see a download start this is a dot raw file as i said it's quite a hefty file 19 gigabytes you can see here it's going to take me on reasonable internet about an hour um so something maybe to leave going overnight uh, and well i'm going to join you in just a moment where we're going to go over the very next step uh, in this process and that is installing it into football manager itself 
Just before we get into the next process, which is unzipping the kind of wrapped up RAR file into a folder that has all the pictures in it, worth noting you are going to need to have WinRAR installed. WinRAR is completely free to download. I've already done a video covering it. Again, I will link that down in the description. Make sure to check it out. Download WinRAR. There's an install video as well as a little video kind of explaining exactly what it does. Uh, but you are going to need some kind of unzipping software for this next step. So the next step you're going to want to do is to take the .rar file we've downloaded and move it to your sports interactive graphics folder um, that can be found on windows at users then your username on windows documents sports interactive football manager 2022 and then graphics uh, i should say now if you don't have a graphics folder in this area here just create one, name it graphics, all lowercase. And then this is where you're going to be putting any graphic add-ons that you choose to add to Football Manager, be that a face pack like we're going to do today, uh, kit packs and logo packs, which I am going to cover in future videos. Um, I'll try and remember to link those down in the description if you want to check those out. I'll also say at this point, if this video is proving useful, do make sure to drop a like on it. It does help other people find this video, feeds the YouTube algorithm and stuff. And of course, if you're new here, subscribe. We do daily FM22 content. I should also mention at this point that down in the description, there are going to be written step-by-step -step instructions for this. Over on Mac, the location of the graphics folder is different. Um, worth being aware of, I will have written out instructions for where you can find this folder location on Mac uh, down below. But anyway, now that our RAR file is copied over from our downloads into this graphics folder, we are going to extract it here. Um, this is going to involve unzipping every single image file, as I said. 300,000 faces. It's, it's quite a lot of faces. So this is going to take a little while, even on a quick PC, you're looking at a, probably a couple of hours. Um, so yeah, you might want to get your laptop charger, plug it in, sit around. However, once you are done, you are going to have a folder like this one here with all the player faces in. Once the file has finished extracting, you should have a folder within your graphics folder called Sorta LSI. You will have a folder then called Faces, and in here there will be a load of random faces that are all going to get put into your football manager. Um, I did just cancel the process of this midway through because, as I said, it takes quite a long time of all the faces. So you will have a way longer scrolly bar than me here with the thousands of faces that you have to install. Um, but once you have a folder called faces that looks a little bit like this in your graphics folder, uh, we are good to hop into Football Manager for the final few steps. So the final step, once you've installed the face pack files into the correct Football Manager folder, is to come in game and go to Preferences. Uh, once in Preferences, you're going to want to do two steps. The first one is to click Clear Cache in the bottom left. Uh, you're then going to click Yes. And then the last step is just to hit Reload Skin. Um, sometimes the Reload Skin button is a little bit hidden. I will have written instructions for if that happens to you, but for most people, it won't be an issue. And although nothing looks like it's changed here, um, stuff has changed, uh, the player faces should now be in game. So the easiest way to make sure the face pack is working is just to go to the Premier League, go to the Media Dream 11 under Season Preview, and if we click through all the players, you can see here the faces of players that aren't normally in the game are now present. Nice and simple, uh, no problems whatsoever, and uh, yeah, if you follow all the steps, this will work. If you get to the end of the video, if you do all the stuff I've done and then the player faces are just silhouettes still. You've missed a step. You've probably not put the folders in the right location. I encourage you to go back and double check. If you follow all the steps, including clearing the cache, reloading the skin in game, it will work. I promise you. But anyway, folks, that is going to wrap up this video from me. Hopefully it worked without a hitch. However, if you do have any issues, um, hop over onto the Discord server. That is discord.gg slash work the space. Uh, there is a FM help channel there where you can get some assistance. If you've enjoyed today's video, do drop a like on it. As I said, a logo pack install video will be coming very, very soon. So keep an eye open for that one. And well, until next time, thank you so much for watching. It is me, Jack, and I'll see you next time. I'm out.